are three possible algorithms to do that Gini index, entropy and chi-square. So the whole dif the difference between all three of this algorithm is basically this that uh, they are basically different ways of measuring the impurity. The algorithm inherently is all the same. All of these algorithms are concerned about only single, this, the algorithm is basically same. You have a root node which starts off and then those are impure nodes and you want to somehow go as you go down the decisioning tree as you kind of make more splits and splits your impurity score goes down mm -hmm. and all you have to do is basically choose the feature that gives you the most pure splits or the basically to put it in terms of impurity the ones with the least impurities that's all about your decision tree right you have an impure node and you want to choose the feature which gives you the least impure nodes right or the most pure nodes and as you kind of go down your impure nodes as you would as you now understand impure the impurity score goes down as as and forth you go down the decision tree right so all these three algorithms are concerned in our work in the exactly same way they basically take the impurity score and then they kind of impurity score goes down as you go down the decision tree the only difference between three algorithms is basically is how your impurity score is calculated right so impurity score could be calculated, the way it is calculated in Gini, Entropy or Chi-squared are very different and that's all about these three algorithms. Apart from them, the, apart from them, the three algorithms, the idea, the basic concept of idea uh, on all three of them is the same. You start off at a node, you calculate impurity and then you calculate impurity for all the possible features, all the possible feature splits and then you see which is the feature that gives you the least impure node and you go ahead with that that's exactly the idea so now let's try and get a more better idea of that using Gini index so there are three possible algorithms Gini index chi square and entropy and all of them are basically concerned about the same thing the only thing that they vary among themselves is basically how they measure the impurity but apart from that the rest of the algorithms are exactly same you have a node you calculate impurity score then for all possible feature splits, you know, in this case, gender split, employment split and age split, you are going to calculate the impurity of the produced nodes, right? Whichever one gives you the least impurity score for the produced nodes, for the child, produced child nodes, you are going to go ahead with that feature. So let's try and understand that now using the data set that we have. So the first up idea is Gini index, right? So Gini index, how it is calculated, we are going to just go behind that. The main idea is if it's a, if it's a measure of impurity, so basically if you have a node which is extremely impure, you would have a score which is higher. If it's a node which is extremely pure, then you would have a Gini index which is close to zero. But apart from that, that's exact, the whole idea of Gini index and for that matter, all the other algorithms is exactly same. You have an impurity score and that impurity score basically changes uh, as you go, it goes decreasing as you go down the decision tree, right? So now, let's have a look into Gini index calculation, right? So what is the formula for Gini index say? It says 1 minus p square plus 1 minus p square, right? Uh, so what, what are exactly all of this, right? This sounds a lot more mathematical and all of this is complex. So let's first understand what is p and what is 1 minus p. So p is basically the probability of success. So in this case, what is the probability of success? So if I have, so this is the initial node. And you have split that up such that here you have what is the probability of someone watching a movie? The probability of someone watching a movie was 52%, right? We, we remember this out of 50 people, 26 people have watched the movie. So probability of someone watching the movie is 52%. Now when we split it based on say age or something, there would be some probability of people watching the movie and there would be some probability of people not watching the movie, so which is exactly 1 minus P, right? So that is the definition of P and 1 minus P. Don't get so confounded by it right now. So let's, when we go ahead and we see more examples, the Gini index calculation would be more apparent to you. And then that's when you should be able to appreciate why Gini index is very high for an impure node and Gini index value would be very low for a pure node, right? So now let's start building the intuition from the Dunkirk data set that we have already looked at. So, first let's see how many people, so how many, what is the number of people who have watched the movie is 26, so p probability of someone watching a movie who in the root node is 52% and probability of someone not watching the movie is 24 into 2, 48%, right? So now, 
So before we go end up go into looking at what are the different splits possible, so split based on gender, split based on age, and split based on employment, and we calculate the Gini index for each of those splits. Let's first try and calculate the Gini index for the root node. So this is your root node looks like. Here your probability of someone watching the movie is 0.52 probability of someone not watching the movie is 0.48 right so Gini index for you is 1 minus 0.52 square plus 0.48 square right so whatever this comes out to be is your Gini index for this original node right the root this is a root node Gini index right so now let's try and take a moment and understand why Gini index is a good measure of impurity now let's say you have a node which is completely where your everyone has watched the movie right so this root node or even if it's not a root node it's a child node or whichever node it is has the probability where everyone has watched the movie so probability of someone watching the movie is 1 probability of someone not watching the movie is 0 and then your Gini index is 1 minus 1 square plus 0 square right so Gini index comes out to be 0 so you would be able to now appreciate do the same thing right so if your probability of someone watching a movie is instead of one had it been zero which is basically a node which consists of everyone who has not watched a movie also then you would be able to see that Gini index for that node would come out to be zero now let's consider a node which is extremely impure right so extremely impure as in where it's an exact 50 split right so somewhat similar to the current situation we have so we have a node where 50 percent of the people have watched the movie so what is the probability of someone watching the movie is 0.5 and then other 50 percent have not watched the movie so that is an impure note right so now you calculate Gini index for them g equals to 1 minus 0.5 square plus 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5 square right so this is 1 minus 0.25 plus 0.25 so this comes out to be 0.5 so for an extremely impure node Gini index value comes out to be 0.5 whereas for an extremely pure node it comes out to be 0 mm -hmm. so you can you are, so now you are able to appreciate this fact that if it's an extremely impure node the Gini index would be higher mm -hmm. if it's a very pure node or close to pure node the Gini index value would be lower mm -hmm. so now you have that intuition so now let's do the exact mathematical calculation behind all of the possible splits and then we'll take a call based on those answers which is a which is a feature that we want to split on right mm -hmm. so the first up feature that we want to check is gender right so in gender as i've explained to you there are 22 males and 28 females mm -hmm. out of those 22 sorry there are 28 males and 22 females out of 28 males 12 people have watched the movie mm -hmm. so probability of someone watching the movie is roughly around 42% and among females 14 out of 22 people have watched the movie so that's roughly around 63 percent so now let's calculate the probability so probability of a female who has what is the probability that someone is a female and has watched the movie that is yeah so probability is someone who is a male and who has watched the movie so that is 12 out of 28 which is 0.429 and what is the probability someone who's a female and who has watched the movie that is 14 out of 22 which is 63 percent right so now how do you calculate the Gini index for each of the sub nodes because Gini index is calculated as a uh, for each of the child nodes that are being produced so Gini index for females would be 1 minus probability of someone among females watching the movie minus plus square plus 1 minus that probability square right so what was the probability of someone watching the movie among females it was 0 0.429 right 0 0.43 around that's what it is yeah so prob sorry probability among females having watched the movie so p equals to 0.63 so your formula would be something like this right so 1 minus <coughs> 0.63 square plus 1, 1 minus 0 0.63 which is 0 0.37 square let me draw that out for you so that it's easier for you to understand so probability among female watching the movie is 0.63 probability of male watching the movie is 0.37 oh, sorry 0.43 so Gini index for the female node is 1 minus 0.63 square 
plus 1 minus 0.63 is 0.37 square. So this is for the female node and for the male node it is 1 minus sorry 1 minus 0.43 square plus 0.57 square right so this is for the male node right so this is basically derived on the fact that Gini index value is 1 minus p square plus 1 minus p square so now this is exactly what you have here right so Gini index for the female node is 0.463 and Gini index for the male node is 0 0.490 as you can see the male node is more impure and the female node is less impure because the female node consists of 63 percent of people who watch the movie 63 37 is obviously a better split than 43 57 right that's what we have for the male node so female node is obviously better you know separated into ones and zeros rather than the male node and that's why you see the impurity score here being much lower so now how do you calculate the Gini index for a feature split right because a feature gives you two possible nodes male and female somehow you have to combine this right to get what is the final Gini index for a gender split right so all you're gonna do is combine them and then basically see in the same way you combine the splits for age employment and see which is the one that gives you the least impure nodes right so in case you have two nodes one is 0 0.463 one is 0 0.490 obviously 0 0.463 is less impure 0.49 is much more impure so but we somehow have to combine them right because these are two nodes and we have to somehow somehow combine what is the final uh final gini index for the gender split right yeah. so how do you calculate is basically combine them using weighted average so the weights being the total number of population in them yeah. so in this case we have total number of males as 28 so 28 by 50 into gini index of male which is 0 0.490 yeah. plus 22 by 50 into gini index of females which is 0 0.46 so this is what you get 28 by 50 into the male Gini index score plus 26, 22 by 50 into the Gini index of the female node. So the final weighted Gini index for gender is 0 0.4779. So now we will now do this exact same calculation based on in employment and the whole idea to do this is if employment gives me a final Gini number value, Gini index value for the entire split as a lower number than what we have for gender, which is 0 0.4779. If the employment number is lower than 0 0.4779, we decide to go ahead with split with employment, right, as opposed to gender. But if the employment number is higher than what you have for gender, then you decide to go ahead with split with gender because then what it means is, gender gives you much more purer splits than employment employment gives you probably much more impure splits whichever gives you the higher Im, higher gini index value that is the feature split which gives you more impure nodes you don't want to go ahead with that you want to go ahead with the feature that gives you the lesser impurity score which is lesser gini index value right so gini index for gender is 0 0.48 let's see what is the employment split if you do split based on employment what does that gini index come out to be so you have the same calculation so you have nine people and you have 20 41 people in one group so out of nine people four people have watched the movie and out of 41 people 22 people have watched the movie so probability of who have people who have watched the movie yes is out of so this is a working profession out of working professionals we know out of 41 people 22 people have watched the movie so out of students four people have watched the movie so that is a roughly the probability distributions looks like this right 0 0.44 and 0 0.537 so now what is the gini index for the working node the gini index for the working node is people who have watched who, have, who are working and have watched it so that probability is 0 0.537 0 0.537 so you put in plug in the value 0 0.537 here so one minus 0.53 square plus 1 minus 0.53 which is 0.47 square and you do the same thing for students as well so student the population the, the split the probability of someone watching the movie was 0.47 I guess so 1 minus 0.47 square plus whatever that comes out to be so Gini index for students and Gini index for working are 0.494 and 0.497 now you can clearly see that both the nodes are almost impure right the most impure node can have a Gini index of 0.5 value 
and here both the nodes are almost as good as impure, right? Because their student has a 0 0.494 and 0 0.497. Mm -hmm. So, which is basically to say all of both the nodes are 50 50 splits. Mm -hmm. And this is something we have already seen earlier, right? When we did the tabulation of all the possible splits, mm -hmm. we saw that employment was not a good option because it had a very close to 50 50 splits in both the cases, both the nodes. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what you see as quantified here. Mm -hmm. That was an intuition that we had that employment is not a good idea because it gives you a 50 50 split. Mm -hmm. In this case, we can see that employment is a is obviously as not good as it is because it has given you a 0.5 Gini index for both the values, both the splits. Sorry, for both the nodes. So now weighted in Gini index for the employment is basically given as the same way, 41 by 50 into the Gini index for students. Sorry, into the Gini index of working people and 9 by 50 into the Gini index for students. And that comes out to be somewhere around 0.4967. So, which is obviously much higher than the Gini index which we had for gender. So that was at 0.48. So, obviously, that means that employment gives you more impure node because the Gini index is higher as compared to gender which gives you less impure nodes. So, by definition, by the design of the algorithm, we are going to go ahead with gender because that gives us more purer split. It separates out your ones and zeros into two distinct classes and that's exactly what we want here. So that's what you see here on the slide. So since weighted genie of gender is less than weighted genie of employment, the node split will take place based on gender. And now you have developed a strong basis on how splits take place based on the genie index and score. So at each step, so now to kind of formalize the algorithm for you, let's go back and draw this for you. So let's consider this Dunkirk example only. So we had started off here. Sorry. Yeah, so this is your initial node. This had a Gini index of 0.5 almost because it was a 50-50 kind of a split. So from here, based on age, you can see that you have reduced down the Gini index. So one has got a Gini index of 0.49. The other has got a point Gini index of 0.46, right? So now this Gini index are obviously not close to zero. We want, because zero is exactly where we want to stop. Because zero means that we have reached completely pure nodes. But these are not pure. So we again look at all the three, all the three possible options to split here as well, right? So this is the Gini index for gender. So let's say this is a male node and this is, this is the female node. Sorry, this was the male node. Sorry, and this is the female node, right? So on the female node, we want to split them again further and so we want to do for the male node as well. And again, while we're splitting the female node further, we again gonna look at all the three possible features, which is gender, age and employment and decide based on that, which is the next best option to again split at this stage, right? So just because age has been split here doesn't mean we don't consider age here. If age has been considered here, we again gonna consider all of the three possible features to split on at this stage as well. And then we are going to keep on doing this, right? Until our Gini index value basically comes down to 1. Sorry, it comes down to 0. Because 0 is basically the point where we say that we have reached a completely pure node. It could be of people who have either watched the movie or it is basically people who have not watched the movie. But if we keep on doing this iteratively, at each step you are going to consider all the three possible splits. And for all the three possible splits, you are going to consider the Gini index. And then you're going to see which is the split which gives you the least G possible Gini index. And based on that, you kind of take the call of which is the feature you want to go ahead and split with. So obviously, good for you is that for most of the algorithms that we have discussed and uh, we have talked about, uh, Scikit offers you an API for doing all of this. It's not like you have to calculate all of this at every step of every node of the calculation. You can easily <laughs> skip all of this. Uh, but obviously, as I have always been talking about in the lectures and here as well, it's easy to kind of, you know, just go back to Scikit and just put this as an API and just go ahead with it without learning and without understanding all of this. But understanding this is extremely critical because sometimes when your algorithms don't work, you kind of want to go back and debug them, right? And if you don't know exactly how a Gini index works, it would be extremely impossible for you to kind of debug why your algorithm is not performing as you expect it to be. So don't, 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 don't rely on the fact that Scikit offers you an API for doing all of this without you calculate, needing to calculate all of this. Uh, that is good. That is convenient. But that doesn't mean you can skip the part about understanding Gini index. And frankly, this is all simple sense. This is not as complicated as a linear regression or anything. 
you have got an algorithm which measures measures an impurity split and at every step you're going to measure the possible feature all possible feature you're going to consider you're going to consider which is the feature that gives you the least genie index of the child nodes and you're going to go ahead with that feature right that's very intuitive so now we are going to cover chi-square index so obviously you can want to probably take a minute and understand about how you would calculate the Gini index if the split had been done by age, right? For age, there were two possible again values. Splits possible 28 plus or 28 minus. So for each of those values, you want to calculate what is the probability of someone watching the movie and then plugging in the probability of someone watching the movie if someone is 28 plus, what is the probability of someone watching the movie if someone is not 28 plus? And then plug that formula into the Gini index and see what is the Gini index that you come up for the age-wise split, right? And then see if age is the thing. Do you want to split or based on age versus do you want to split on gender, right? If age gives you a Gini index value of value lower than 0.48, right? 0.4779. That's what we had for Gini index split based on gender. So if age gives you a split which has lower impurity, which basically means lower Gini index value than 0.4779, then you would want to go ahead and split based on age. Whereas if age gives you some Gini index value which is greater than 0.4779, you would want to still go ahead and split based on gender, right? Log on to Grey Atoms learning platform to unlock more free content. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.